I'm Steve Bauer with Bauer Inspections and what we have here <coughs> on this house is we have a single wall vent pipe from the furnace and the water heater that are within six inches of the combustible wall and this vent pipe either needs to be double wall pipe or have a heat shield to protect the wall. This here is a heat shield. It's a piece of sheet metal with the offset here to bring it away from the wall so that there's an air space behind it. And then we will put it up here like this to protect the wall. What we'll do is we'll just place this up here like this. Put a screw through that pre-drilled hole. and screw it into the drywall. Put another screw down here. And although they might not be necessary, we'll put two screws back on the other side too. Another way to do a heat shield is to get a flat piece of sheet metal like this. I've pre-drilled some holes in it and <clears throat> I'm going to glue some nuts on the back of it. I have a glue stick here. And I put some nuts on the back of it. These are just quarter inch nuts. And then I'm going to screw this to the wall through those holes and these nuts are actually a spacer that keeps it away from the wall. You could also use double sided tape or super glue to glue those nuts on. Now we're going to put this on this side of the furnace wall to where we can protect the wall from the furnace <clears throat> vent and we can put the uh, screw through the hole And one more, <clears throat> and the nuts will hold it away from the wall so that there is an airspace in between there. And we have a heat shield that's just as effective <clears throat> as the one over here for the furnace and water heater vent pipe combined. Now we'll put the 
furnace vent back in place. And we secure this back in place. And we're done.